exploring the menu of Indian summer opening this week at the Fairmont Bam Springs Hotel. Uh, Vikram Vij is joining me in the kitchen this morning. You're cooking a couple of the, the menu items that uh, are you actually they're from you you brought them over to the the menu here right. uh, we've already made a chicken marsala yeah. uh, this is a curried goat meat yeah well goat is one of the leanest meats and it's so good for you as well and remember one thing most of the world eats goat meat mm -hmm. here in North America we love a lamb but you can use lamb if you want so if you don't if you can't find goat just buy lamb and you can do a great job of that yeah. started with some onions ginger garlic yeah. and one of the most important components is this little curry leaf in here that I added. It okay. actually has nothing to do with curry other than the fact that when you break it down it smells of curry. So it's just called curry leaf but not really yeah, part of curry. Yeah, you can buy them at any Indian stores and stuff like that and you can, you know, uh, use them up. I mean, once I made the masala, I've got this beautiful goat. I'm going to just saute it in there for a long time. Okay. Now, always try to use the goat with the bone in so that the flavors come out nicely and you can always either remove your remove the bones or just use your hands man good food dirty, should be enjoyed right? with your hands there's nothing better than going like this on food that's I the area I'm going to let you continue to cook this because uh, I want to talk to Chef Gaba for a moment here uh, because you are heading up Indian summer uh, here at the hotel. And we want to talk some of the spices here because some of these our viewers might not be familiar with. This one, uh, um, we were just talking about the curry leaves, but there's a few others here maybe we want to talk about. Yeah, this dish, ba dish basically comes from the south part of India. And in south part, we use these chilies. These are basically guntur chil chilies. They come from Andhra. These are very spicy. So you have to beware like how much you should add in the dish. Okay. We have mustard seeds. These are very strong spices. Same with curry leaves as chef said. And we have fennel seeds and cumin seeds. They add a lot of flavor to, to the dish. And you don't need to cook. When you're cooking the dish, you can smell it. Like it has huge flavor. This is one of those times when you wish that it was smell vision because the smell, the aroma coming from the food the Vikram's working on here is absolutely incredible. How long, how long do you cook this for? Do you like well, usually it would take around a couple of hours to you know, tenderize the meat a little right. bit. But one of the things that works really well to tenderize the meat is something called as yuca. Okay. Yuca, you boil this. It comes from southern you know, part of the world, basically. So Costa Rica uses a lot of this. Brazil uses a lot of this. And you, and you actually boil this. This is almost like um, a lotus root. And, and you boil it, and then you, after you boiled it, you break it down into small pieces. Okay. It almost has that same starchy look as a potato would do. And then, but it also helps tenderize the meat, like the way papaya does to uh, cooking of the meats. And what it, what it does is it gives that flavor, it gives that texture. And this curry is not meant to, to be a wet curry. This is meant to be a little bit of a drier style of a curry. So if you've got some delicious piece of bread, and you spread it on top of it, and you enjoy the bite, it'll be like, okay, I can feel the heat because that comes from the Andhra chilies that Chef got talked about. Right. Well, we're talking about a lot of different flavors and a lot of different uh, unique spices here. We're going to have, I should mention, all the recipes up on the website and also a little bit of information about Indian summer on our website as well, including the hours. Uh, we're going to get back to cooking, but for now, we'll throw it back to the studio. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. and spoon fed by Bitch. How awesome is that? At the Bam Springs. I love Indian food. 